about Raikou, so a lot of confidence on this skill cap black roster. They have so much experience. Hopsy's played on, you know, Splice, SK Gaming, Method Triforce. He has so much experience under him. And now bringing out the Elemental Shaman, basically directly swapping in for Raikou. Let's see how he can perform against this jungle cleave. Oh, I'm always excited to see Waz play that Outlaw specialization. What is Sneakier Snakes going to do? They have a couple different options. They can play sort of defensive, allow Milkman to sit back, or they can play hyper aggressive, have Milkman push in for those fears, but Milkman taking a very defensive position right away. Waz landing the stun over onto him. Nice fear coming in over onto Cy Foxy as well. Looks like Milkman is the target of choice for now for Waz. Swaps in chat, just line of sight, and there's a the full bash. Milkman right on top for that fear. If he can get it, gouge over onto Milkman, though. Excellent job by Waz slowing down that CC chain. Yep, he also traded out the blind there over onto Milkman. Forcing out the PvP trinket now, Gouge onto Cy Foxy. No incarnation has been popped just yet, but equally not too many defensive cooldowns forced on the side of Skillcap Black. You can still see the Astral Shift available for Swapsy and, of course, uh, the Pain Suppression for Chad. So lots of defensive cooldowns still available. The real question here is going to be how they can get that crowd control. Over onto Chad, you can see he's max ranging, avoiding Dilly at all costs. And if they can't get that crowd control, it's going to be very hard for them to get pressure. Yeah, pistol stun over on the side, Foxy. He's used the incarnation, trying to get really aggressive. Another stun over on the Milkman. Nicely done by Waz. He's seen the entire team by himself. Nice gouge coming in as well. Dilly trying to charge in and land some crowd control, but Chaz is excellently positioned with Swapsy here, making it very difficult. Swapsy now charging in, getting some pressure over on the Milkman. Full trap over on the Chaz. Now Swapsy's going to be in some trouble. He uses the Astral Shift, still trying to line a sight. Dilly do the best he can. That was the true shot. That was the incarnation. Skillcap Black has kind of weathered the storm. Yeah, that was almost every single offensive cooldown coming out of Sneakier Snakes. Very, very good trading for Skillcap Black. They still have the Pain Suppression. Chaz is are also looking very good. This is one of the things you have to consider. Swapsy and Waz with that Outlaw Rogue doing so Ooh. much damage, able to really burn down the mana. They are playing the game of attrition. As long as Swapsy can do what he does best, stay alive, they will win this game. Look at Waz, he's all over the place. Pistol stun after pistol stun into gouge. Skill cap black, keeping sneakier snakes on their toes. Cy Foxy uses his second wall there, I believe, so not going to have too many defensives left. Really cool, able to resurrect his pet, but Chaz and uh, Swapsy doing such a good job line of sighting in this matchup. General Nush is going to be used by Waz as well. He still has that plunder, though, so they can make that big swap on anyone they want. Cy Foxy is a very juicy target for them. No trinket, no survival instincts, no nothing. Pistol stun on the Milkman, fear over on the Swapsy. But there's actually DR. Unfortunately, Waz landing a DR stun on the Milkman. Not going to be able to get the go that they perhaps wanted. It's actually very interesting. You see Dilly's actually putting damage over onto Chaz, trying to reduce the Vim and Vigor. That's 20% more healing. So if they can get that off, it's going to help a lot. And that spread pressure is actually burning away at the blue bar on Chaz as well, meaning, of course, once that blue bar runs out, you will run out of healing, uh, basically, for the entire game. Still ahead, though, Milkman dropping lower and lower. Has the Rapture up right now, which is going to increase his healing by a little bit. Archangel also available. But you can definitely see the strategy changes, and that's what makes these players so good. They recognize something's not working. Now they get the crowd control preemptive pain suppression and the astral shift overlap there on skill cap black and sneaky snake starting to take the lead yeah was trying to do everything he can gouge over on the dilly pistol sent over on the side foxy but right now sneakier snakes they're playing very aggressive as was gets lower and lower uses the parry there trying to avoid that death gouge over onto dilly pistol sent on the milkman he uses the paint suppression realizing this is a scary situation for him was committing a lot there except the plunder armor so still has that available after the paint suppression it could be big scary time for milkman milkman not using his trinket finally gets away for a second fear on the chaz maim over on the was to slow it down was could be in a lot of trouble with the trap over on the chaz he doesn't have a trinket to get out of that but luckily he's playing relentless so all the cc is going to be a little bit less that was such a clean setup from skill oh. back with the double favor they just get the kill Cy foxy caught off guard 10 seconds left on that pvp trinket milkman at from sneakier snakes i want them to play more like reformed i want them to be in the face of skill cap black and generating pressure because they will lose the long game will they find pressure here in the second match Skill Cap Black gonna be leading by one, trying to make that two. This is such a good map for jungle. Like we said, we want to see Sneakier Snakes play super aggressive in the situation. Skill Cap Black positioning over in the graveyard right now. It's gonna provide some line of sight for Chaz. Cheap shot over on a Cy Foxy. Pistol stun over on a Milkman. He trinkets out. Big damage coming in from Waz right away. There's a trap over on a Chaz though. Sneakier Snakes looking to strike back, but now stun over on a Dilly. Waz just controlling everyone with that outlaw rogue. I really like the way Skill Cap Black are playing. They're getting the stuns over onto Milkman and they're combining it with the Psychic Scream from Chaz. The double fear on the DPS means 
no peels, no damage, no worries for Skillcap Black. And you can see, once again, there's the blind. Over into the stun on Cyfox. He has to drink it, trade out the survival instincts. Lots of damage coming out. Too many cooldowns being forced. And once again, Skillcap Black sitting healthy. They still have the pain suppression, still have the astral shift. But here comes the incarnation. Yeah, Waz, though, trinket it out of there. That was his parry as well. Trap over onto Chaz. Skillcap Black could be in some trouble. Stun over onto Dilly. Swapsy still low, throwing out some heals on himself. Chaz has to play catch up in this situ situation using the Rapture. Big swap over on a Milkman, though. Kane suppresses himself as he has no trinket. This is scary. The cheap shot into cheap shot into gouge, but it breaks. Swapsy still low, though. Chaz still low as well as he gets interrupted there. Both teams going super aggressive in this matchup. Yep, that was the incarnation and the true shot aura. We see now Cyfoxy dropping low. Has to trade out his second survival instincts. Look at the defensive cooldowns on Sneakier Snakes. They have very little remaining. Same time. Fear, I mean, sorry, trap over onto Chaz. Swapsy sitting behind the pillar, trying to line of sight as much damage as he can from the Hunter, but at the same time, he's struggling to get top top here. Chaz really needs to recover. Yeah, look at Milkman's positioning, never pushing in for those fears, just keeping his team alive as Waz gets lower and lower, down to 10% HP. Chaz able to land the power with shield onto him. Well, stun on the Milkman with the double fear. They make a huge swap over onto Milkman. Thorns connects, though, from Cyfoxy. That's going to be a deterrent from Waz as he is so low. He doesn't want to be attacking into that Thorns. Gouge over onto Dilly, just trying to slow down. Sneakier Snakes, they got everything they needed. Both trinkets out of the way from Milkman. No pain suppression available, no nothing. Plunder armor not available for Waz this time, but still these swaps from Skillcap Black can be very scary. Yeah, we do have the Adrenaline Rush active on Waz right now. He's building up a lot of damage at this point. You can see there's no PvP trinkets available on Sneakier Snakes. One more setup could do it. Double fear. Can they get the stun onto Milkman? You see Waz pushing in. Here it is, free casting Swapsy, but they break the fear. There's a little bit of disjointed timing there by Skillcap Black, giving the opportunity for that to dispel to come in. Now they're gonna swap it over onto Dilly, but with no car control on Milkman and that Archangel, they should be able to stay alive. Yeah, with Milkman's positioning, it's gonna be very difficult for skilled cat black to actually land a kill without doing something onto milkman he's just so far away keeping his team stable keeping them alive dilly taking a little bit of pressure right now Chaz, no defensive cooldowns available but a nice stun over onto dilly milkman though not in any crowd control bursting shot over onto waz as well as he trinkets out so no trinket going to be available for quite some time over onto waz gouge over onto dilly bash trap onto Chaz. now waz needs to survive he's trying to kite away a little bit Chaz, i think the, I think the trap broke there so waz is going to be able to survive and live another day yeah, so we see the trinket there was traded out by Milkman, but they still have a lot of defensive grounds on the side of Sneakier Snakes for that plunder armor. That was the thing that, of course, won skill cap black the game last time. So good trading coming out so far. We do see that plunder, though. They're going for the all-in over onto Milkman. He doesn't really have too, too much. His team needs to peel him. They did have the trinkets available, but there was no fear even for them to trinket. And now that they've survived that go, that was the big offense coming out of skill cap black. They're even losing on mana in this one. Sneakier Snakes poised to win. Dilly doing such an excellent job there, that route as well as that flare, rendering Waz completely useless in that situation. So nicely done. That's exactly what they needed to do. Dilly, though, getting swapped to now. Skill cap Black just all over the place. Huge burst coming in, but Milkman able to keep him alive. Dilly just holding onto that turtle as well as that trinket for as long as humanly possible. Now stun over on a Psy Foxy. Waz creating huge pressure for his team once again. But like we said, Milkman's mana getting lower and lower. Both priests running out of time in terms of just mana resource. Double fear over on a Dilly. Another swap over on a Milkman. Milkman has nothing to get out of this. Can they keep him alive? He gets stunned up once again. Mave comes in. Milkman barely survived, but ultimately gets taken down. Nice swap by Skill Cap Black. Unbelievable. My, my heart is definitely with NA, but right now I think my mind has to be with EU. Skill Cap Black just one away from taking this series. Unbelievable play coming in from Skill Cap Black. They're doing a great job defensively. Waz is creating opportunities out of thin air on that Outlaw Rogue. Just need to note, whenever I say pistol stun, it is that between the eyes stun. So watch out for Waz getting those stuns all over the place. Yep, as Zico was talking, we are looking for those setups with Chaz. Of course, Dilly needs to play aggressive. So that actually opens them up to get those double psychic screens, the double fears that disarm the DPS of sneakier snakes. And at the same time, Waz to cover the dispels, you can see going for that pistol stun, going for the between the eyes and a lot of damage coming out. But here they weren't able to get the fear, able to get some peels onto swap C. So Milkman actually able to hold his pain suppression, hold his PvP trinket. So a good opener for sneaky snakes. Milkman doing a good job there. I think sometimes he was preemptively using cooldowns, really not understanding the damage that comes down from Outlaw. So getting away with not really using much there, it's gonna stop some of the opportunities 
opportunities that Skillcap Black really has. Full blind, Milkman is just going to sit that as well. His Waz going to land that sap, going over, looking for it, not going to. Gouch comes out though, so Milkman doing a great job, but I don't know, Cy Foxy getting lower and lower. That's going to be his trinket as well as his survival instinct, so Milkman not using too much, but unfortunately Cy Foxy using a lot. That was actually a beautiful play by Dilly. He flared Waz as he wanted to vanish sap Milkman, therefore they weren't able to get the PvP trinket. Very well done, but you can see now human racial use by Milkman. No trinket on Cy Foxy, who does have the incarnation available, and Plunder Eye is available for Waz. If they can set up that plunder onto Cy Foxy, they could win this game, but will they get the cry control over onto Milkman? That will be the question. This incarnation, by the way, is doing absolutely nothing. Skillcap Black just outplaying that Swapsy, kiting around the pillar, taking zero damage. And now that Swapsy's in line of sight of Milkman, the full stun goes out, paint suppression was years now. Waz going for the sap over on the side, Foxy out of the fear, very nicely done. That's gonna get Skillcap Black so much of an opportunity to continue this pressure over on the Milkman. DR stun comes in, Milkman's gonna be able to survive, he just gets gouged up. Now Waz all over Dilly, huge lock coming in from Skillcap once again. Aspect of the turtle gonna be forced out. Very nicely done. Waz really is plundering through this team. He's doing absolutely everything and he still has his offensive cooldowns available. This is devastating for Skillcap Black. One more executed go and they will win this game. Swapsy healing himself up. Chaz caught up in the crowd control. They need to line of sight that hunter damage once again. You see Dilly, he's trying to posture aggressively. He needs to get in, get those traps over onto Chaz so that they can get some pressure going. But he's just struggling so much. We see the between the eyes double fear set up once again. There's the PvP trinket and guess what? Waz still has his offensive cooldowns. Ooh, he still has the plunder armor, but Waz getting a little bit low. Interrupting the maim over on a Chaz. Waz needs to be able to survive. Gouge on the Dilly, just trying to slow down some of this damage, but this is the perfect situation for Skillcap Black. They have all their offensive cooldowns, and no one really has a trinket except Dilly. They can go on a Cy Foxy, they can go on a Milkman, they can go on anyone. There's the stun over on a Cy Foxy with the gouge into a full blind on a Milkman. Cy Foxy needs to be able to survive just a little bit longer. The DR stun comes in. Smite's connecting from Chaz. And Skill Cap Black going to flawless sneakier snakes. 3-0 closing this one out. Joined live here on the stage with the one, the only all-star was. I got one major question for you. What do you think about North America? Um, the NA teams this year are definitely not as practiced as the Europeans. Uh, it kind of shows that we play like 10 hours a day and they play like roughly three. So yeah, the NA teams are a bit behind, I would say. But meta-wise, I don't know, it feels like both are on the same level. So you're definitely giving some credit to North America. And we just saw you play the Outlaw Rogue specialization, which is a little bit of a wild card there. And what do you think of Outlaw? How, how, what made you prepare that, really? Um, as soon as we lost the first cup to Looney, we decided that we were going to try something new. And Swapsy told me to try Outlaw. And then we tried Outlaw and was super good against casters. And now we have to practice without Raikou. So Outlaw Ele was one of our really, really strong comps that reminded a bit about Rogue Mage. So, yeah. And, and speaking about Raikou, he's obviously not here, and I, I'm sure you want to give your fans at home a lot of confidence. So how are you guys feeling, even without Raikou here? Um, I think we can do well without Raikou. I mean, he's 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 a big player in our team. Obviously, me and Raikou are Rogue Mage players all the way, but uh, I think Ele Rogue is literally almost the same as our um, Rogue Mage, of course. And, oh, yeah, sorry. and yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much it anyway. We heard it here live from Waz and the team of Skillcat Black. Even without Raikou here, they're just smashing North America 3-0, advancing in the upper bracket. Let's toss it back to Rich at the desk.